I wonder if you'd care to tell me how you pass your spare time. Well, I... I get so little spare time these days, but I, I tell you this very interesting thing, you see. During my few moments between the shows, I've been very interested in these different policies and different parties of Europe. As a matter of fact, I've, uh, uh, if I asked them about their policy, they, uh, they could ask me about my policy, and I'd tell them that it was in the insurance office in Morgan Street. But apart from that, now, I met a friend of mine the other day, and he was a commercial traveller. He is a commercial traveller, I should say. He's a commercial traveller in shirts, shirts of many colours. And he tells me he's been doing rather well on the continent lately. So I said to him, well, tell me, now, what is the difference between a black shirt and a green shirt and a blue shirt and so on, you see? So he said, well, my dear old chap, you simply take a black shirt in one hand and a pink shirt in the other hand and you hold them up together and you look at them and the difference is perfectly obvious. You can see that one is lighter than the other. Well, of course, <clears throat> I just let that pass as if nothing had happened. Now, that takes us to India. India? Uh, why India? Well, we happen to be on that way at the time. <clears throat> you see, but so that, that, that place, India is, in fact, India is a place where they wear yellow shirts with broad stripes. I believe the tigers wear them. And uh, I also believe they hand them over to the wasps when they've shrunk. I don't know why they hand them over to the wasp when they've shrunk. The simple reason is I believe that these tigers are very, very fashionable people and they don't like to be seen wearing short skirts. Now, from there, that takes us on to Russia. See? Russia? Why yeah. Russia? Well, that, yes, that's the place where they do all this rushing about, you see. And uh, now there, there was a man named Ivan Pukarov. As a matter of fact, that's what his wife told him to do at the time. Now, he was a very, very cunning man. Oh, he was a very cunning man indeed. Now, he used to wear a white shirt, yes, a white shirt. The reason for that being, when he had a row with his wife, he used to slip out into the snow and she couldn't find him. And, of course, all this goes to point to you, uh, as a matter of fact, it reminds me of one of my ancestors many, many hundreds of years ago. In those days, of course, they used to wear the iron shirts. And it was rather difficult on a Sunday if the laundry hadn't returned. They, uh, well, a man couldn't go out unless his shirt had come back from the blacksmith. But his wife was always grumbling, so history tells me, that she had to, she was always grumbling at night time because she had to fasten his nightshirt up with a spanner. History tells me also that one night she went to bed, he went to bed with his spurs. On my word, she was cut up. Well, apart from that, it only goes to prove to you that, uh, that, the, uh, that uh, a famous Greek philosopher said to the Corinthians, O oh, nullae secundus sic in transit. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I was thinking about a, a trip across the channel. <clears throat> what I meant to say was, O oh, nullae secundus moderato moderatim, which, of course, when translated means to the cruet, all is mustard. Well, um, I don't know much about the Corinthians. As a matter of fact, my team happens to be the Arsenal. But I can't give you any more time, old man, so uh, I think I'd better say goodbye to you. If you want to know any more about shirts, I've got 18 or 20, so uh, come up and see me sometime. <laughs> Goodbye.